guys, welcome back to Owl 3 Please like, subscribe, and share the content if you like what I'm doing. Today I'm talking about visuals in CRV. For the longest time I have heard different modalities kind of taking shots at CRV about visuals. So I want to talk about this because I'm just tired of hearing it. Not that it's going to end it because, again, we're marketing here. We're, we're doing commercials. We're selling the best product in town, which is apparently TRV and H, um, SRV and HRVG and CRV is all the best stuff in town. So I don't expect to stop, but I'm going to at least try once and I'll speak slowly as I can for the people that need to hear it. So I could tell when I posted this, it's kind of a defensive reaction. Um, so I want to, I'm not trying to pick on anybody. I'm really not, but I, you know, I'm just tired of hearing it. I'm tired of either there's a degree of BS I get listened to in the field of remote viewing. Then it's like, okay, obviously we've got to talk about this. Okay. So as far as TRV, I'm trying to address people's comments here. TRV, I've already gone over this. It's very different um, from CRV. Some people really like TRV. That's done TRV and other things. It just people are drawn to whatever they like. Um, so I'm not going to really talk too much about TRV. Um, okay. So he mentions by comparison, they get a detailed drawing of a blind target that were accurate with HRVG protocols. Okay. So <clears throat> I printed up a sketch I did. This is not my page one. It's my first sketch. Okay. So I have my first page, which is a header, you know, my ideogram, which kind of takes up like half the page, then some stage two. Um, page two is just more stage two impressions. And my AI, and then stage or page three was my very first sketch. So first, I want to show you this. The target was, which I picked out of a target pool, was Steve, um, Stephen Hawking's trip to the space station or whatever, right? First sketch was this. Okay, which is hopefully you can see that's a pretty clearly a, a rocket um, attached to like a base, and it says. AOL well, launch launch sequence, um, AI interested or something. Metallic, okay, um, which I think is pretty impressive, okay, by anyone's standards. Now, this is a kinesthetic sketch, so. If that's impressive, let me explain to you how I sketched this. Upside down. I sketched this image. I turned the paper upside down. It's my very first sketch. Kinesthetically, I didn't look for, close my eye, looking for visual, you know, um, because the signal's running right through me. It's doing all the work through my body. Um, I don't have to look at something and then interpret it, okay? So then I, I do it upside down. And that's what it ends up being. Now, I've also heard someone saying, well, you know, CRV people don't know what their, they don't know what their target is, and it still works. It's fine. Let me tell you. Do you think I sketch a rocket? And I don't know what that is. I mean, don't be a silly goose, guys. Come on. Come on. If I draw a jet, if I sketch a jet, kinesthetically, this is happening and this is happening. Got a little pilot waving in there. And I'm using CRV. You don't think I know what that is? Come on, guys. Come on. I'm not waving my flag, guys. All right? My my CRV flag. I, I don't need to do that. Um, but we're going to cut the nonsense right out. Um, right here, right now. 
Okay. So hopefully that's, I think that that sketch is a good example of like, yeah, if, if you think that's better, you're going to do better than that in some way, be my guest. Um, okay, it's, it's HRV spe G specifically, people seem, seem to kind of to want to defend their position here, so I'm going to approach it. Um, HRVG does have specific steps for visuals. Okay. And they explain that TRV didn't. Okay, let me explain to you. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a true story. Um, and they mentioned, they were asking about Ingo and visual. First of all, remember, again, I wasn't trained by Ingo. I was trained by a Stargate remote viewer directly in person who was trained by Ingo. And the military skip the others had their own ideas about things too so they did tweak some things okay i'll talk slow for you now in stage four i was doing my training it's my matrix Now, my very first human being target, okay, getting familiar with that and interrogating the, the subconscious and all that was in my stage four training. Now, I'm going through the matrix. I'm doing my things. I'm doodling over here. Uh, my target was a Vietnamese or a, a woman or Asian woman. Um, I think she had, she was, she was a radio personality. She would talk over the radio in Vietnam, I think to the GIs or to the people. And that was the target. She just must've been a really interesting character. Okay. So I'm getting all these pieces along the way of her, which she's wearing the vibe of the era, which was, you know, early and I'm instructed to put this header up. Show me what is most noteworthy here. Something should be perceivable. Brackets. Okay. Now, at this point, you guys have got to remember, okay, despite what you think, believe, whatever, the model, okay, is not built on, at least ours, not built on pictures, it's not even built on kinesthetics. It's built on aperture, okay? Starts small, gets big, and the data is small. And as it gets bigger, it, it, it's about knowing where you're at so you could, you know, you, you could manage your data correctly, okay? It's very structured, uh, just not overly so. So, when, as soon as I put this prompt up, I see, because again, show me, what do you think that means? It means... I'm going to get a flash image, okay? You're prompting an image to come into your mind. And I see, this is what I see. A woman with a microphone in her hand, okay? And again, I'm in training, right? So I go, AOL break, singer. And the instructor goes, can I ask you something? I go, yeah. Why did you AOL that? AOL break singer. I said, because I see an image of a woman with a microphone in her hand. And my instructor says, then you write, I see a woman with an image of a microphone in her hand. Okay, I remember this very specifically. It was a great lesson. 
Um, and I ended up doing really well, actually, on the target. But afterwards, I remember this stuff very, very well because um, it's very interesting to me. So I asked my instructor, I said, or I mentioned, I said, that really works really well, that prompt. And we went into the discussion of, you know, the size of the aperture, different prompts, and that Skip, you know, had some ideas as far as that prompt and, you know, some other things. But clearly, we know that there is a, you, you know, my, my instructor talks about movement in the, in the image all the time, telling the difference between um, an AOL image and a, you know, a, a, a true visual. We just don't call it that. We incorporate it all as data. We don't make a big deal out of, you know, an image. Um, so, I mean, my st I have a lot of students that are, are very visually oriented. It, it, a lot of people, I'm a little bit of both because I work with my hands so much. Um, but to say that we discount, the reason why we, it, it, in training is because it, even like even in cowboy, excuse me, if I'm remote viewing a person, my I'm going to get it's, the whole thing is images. I'm going to get a bit just about um, so I start talking to them. So I'm going to get if if the if the if the character is let's say John Candy, I'm going to get a large guy. You know, he may be it may be an over generalization of of whatever this guy is, you know, and after time goes on, you can kind of knock, knock some of the sugar off of it and, and see what, what's actually there. Okay. Um, but to say that you don't get images now, we, now we definitely don't go in the, into the process and say, okay, I'm seeing, a, you know, at least I don't, but what'll happen is my, I'm, I'm so connected it's like my right arm is directly, it's like a current running through my hand. It'll be like this. Oh, uh, I just sketched something automatically. It's the first few stages, okay? Um, oh, it's a it's a windmill or whatever. And, and I, my subconscious is showing my conscious mind what's there. In stage four, I could literally prompt, show me. Now we're prompting flash sketches because we could do that. We're, we're deep enough into the target where we could sink our teeth into that. Um, but if you're going to use that kind of a thing as a leverage, let's get this straightened out because this is bullshit. Um, let's see what else. Okay. Oh, I was going to make a little model here, but my point is this, as far as Clay's concerned, it, it is amazing that, I mean, the only thing more valuable in certain settings is than a sketch is a clay model, especially of a property. If you're trying to get something out of it. But again, even if you're not building that out, just the kinetic aspect, if you're not even making something, just having that clay in your hand drops data down. Okay. So you've heard of, you know, automatic writing. It's, it's very similar with, with sketching that, the signal itself is running right through you. It's bypassing your, your, your analytical mind, okay? And to be honest with you, my right brain is a better sketch artist than my left brain. So my right brain, through kinesthetic sketching, is going to probably give me a nicer image than if I have to visually look for it and then interpret that image and put it down. But that's just, again, that's me. I'm not, you know, but you guys want to talk better. Uh, or more effective, then why am I kicking your ass with HRVG and PRV and SRV? And I'm still kicking your ass with all that stuff. So believe me, if, 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 if I was blown away, I'd be the first one to sign up. I want to be as best as I can at this. But if I'm kicking your ass with this, why would I change anything? You know, if, if you want to impress me, come toe to toe. Let's, you know, blow me away. Um... Because again, from and from my perspective, it's less about the method and, and more about the man or woman, clearly, to me. Clearly. 
It's evident. Okay, so going, just so you know, stage two to three, uh, blue, white, sandy. From a feeling perspective, from experiential effective, uh, grainy, it, it's almost like when you're fishing and you feel, you've got a fishing pole and you feel fish on your hook and it starts bouncing where I'm doing my stage two and I kind of want to start sketching over here. This is me getting pulled in to the signal. Okay. And that's why another, another indicator is I'm moving into stage three. So it's an extremely powerful tool. We use both. I mean, we, we do, we do prompts that we receive what you guys would call a visual impression and we apply it. We do when we move around at stage four. So, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. So, again, you absolutely get visual impressions, okay? You don't really jump into what we what you guys call visuals until stage four, um, but you absolutely do get visuals early in stage three. But if you but if you're formally trained, you could tell the difference between after a bit. You could tell the difference between a, a, like a, a visual to visual and and an AOL. So. Again, you know, if you guys are going to, you know, by all means, market your stuff or whatever, but I'm, I'm proving on a week to week basis that it, I'm either a phenom or it's, it's not about that. It's not about it. It's not about the method. And I, I refuse to believe that's the case. That's me. It's clear that anybody that's diligent in whatever they're using in one of the big, you know, main modalities it's, it's comes down to the person, guys. Otherwise, I invite you to come down here and kick my ass. It ain't going to happen. Or very, very unlikely. <laughs> um, I do miss targets. I'm not, the you know, I'm not claiming that somebody, you know, on, but I, on a regular average basis, it's usually going to turn out good for me. <laughs> so, but I work hard. And again, it's not about my, the method I use. It's about my own work, me working hard at this, being diligent, um, following the protocol that I learned. And the only thing I add to what I teach and what I do is whiteboard, which to be honest with you, it is helpful. It saved me a couple of times. So that's all I have to say. Uh, don't be defensive about this. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm not saying my method's better than anybody, the ones that I use. I'm saying yours isn't better. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. And if you think it's better, instead of doing all this talk, really prove it. Prove it. Like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you next time, guys.